This is the Beyond the Box Dumbbell Workout. Before getting to the workout, make sure you check out the Instagram post for the warm up. When doing the warm up, you want to make sure that you increase your heart rate, increase your body temperature, and you should start to sweat a little bit before you get into the workout. For the workout, we're going to start with dumbbell push presses. We're going to be doing five sets of three. Hopefully we can build up to a heavy set of three. Uh, if we're limited on what we have available to us as far as weights go, then go up as heavy as you can with what you have and focus on building your technique over uh, 15 to 20 minutes before moving on to the Metcon. If you do have heavy weights and you do have a wide variety to choose from, then you're gonna try and get as heavy as you can with good form and technique. Uh, so what it's gonna look like is we need to have the dumbbells to our shoulders. We do that by just swinging them up. You can do a power clean. The push press is a dip, drive, and press out. Wanna make sure that we keep the weight over us and we are not overextending in our back. So squeeze your abs and pull your ribcage down maintaining a solid midline. So you're gonna do three push presses. So that dip, drive press, work on uh, cycling through these reps. So when the dumbbell touches your shoulders, immediately bend the hips and knees going into the next rep. So almost like you're catching with a soft knee, so you can go right into the next rep. So what that look like from the side, Notice I am catching the dumbbell on my shoulders with a soft bend in my knees and hips, which sets me up to go into my next rep. So you'll do your five sets of three reps for the dumbbell push press. Remember it is a dip, drive, and press out to full lockout. Try and catch the dumbbell with soft knees on the shoulders, which lets you go right to the next rep. We're gonna take that and we're gonna put it into the Metcon. The Metcon is a 10 minute AMRAP, so as many reps as possible in 10 minutes of 60 jumping jacks, 10 lateral burpees over your dumbbells, so you're gonna to wanna to set those up properly so you don't roll an ankle, and 10 dumbbell push presses, 50 pounds for the men and 35 pounds for the ladies would be considered RX, or if you're not quite there yet, then a moderately heavy weight or a challenging weight that's going to, uh, that you're able to do for 10 reps. So 60 jumping jacks, jumping jacks, super simple. Starting with your hands at your, thigh, your sides, you're going to jump your feet out. As you jump your feet out, arms come up overhead. And then bring your feet back, that's one, two, and three. So you're gonna do that up to 60 reps. Then you're gonna go into 10 lateral burpees over your dumbbells. So, I have the 50 pounds for the men. I'm going to set my dumbbells up kind of like uh, head of the dumbbell in the handle, or I could set them up end to end. So this gives me lots of room and it doesn't give me something really big to jump over. So the less I have width wise to jump over, the safer it's going to be. Uh, burpee over the dumbbells, lateral jumps. So I'm going to be standing right next to my dumbbells, going down to the floor. Chest and thighs touch the floor. As they come up, bring your feet as close to your hands as you can. Do not need to stand up all the way. I'm gonna bring my feet together, give me a better platform to jump off of, and jump over to the other side. On the other side, I'm gonna go down. I like to bring my feet back together every time I jump, just because that makes me feel more stable, makes me feel like I have a better jump to get out of. So, from here to here, one, back to the other side, two. On the last one, I see this a lot, uh, where people will do their last burpee. So they've done nine to come over to this side. They do their 10, and then they don't jump over. So make sure on that 10th one, the last one, you jump over to the other side. Following those burpees over the dumbbells with lateral jumps, you're gonna go into the dumbbell push presses just like we did in the first part, I'm gonna be using a heavier weight now, so make sure that I get them to my shoulders safely, and then I have a good dip and a big strong press through my legs to help me get the weight overhead for that press overhead. 
go dip, dry press. As I come down, remember, cash with soft legs, set you up for the next jump. So set up and press. Once I've done 10, I'm gonna reset my dumbbells so they're set for my next lateral burpees, and then we go into my jumping jacks again. You're gonna do that as many times as you can, moving through the 60 jumping jacks, 10 lateral burpees over dumbbells, and 10 dumbbell push presses, as many times as you can for 10 minutes. Your score is the total number of rounds and reps as possible in that 10 minute time span. All right, get after it, have fun.